So starting here, this little piece is actually on polystyrene. So if I zoom in there, you can sort of see some of the texture, but it's just worked really well. I think the way that the pin paint has taken to that. And also it's great because um, again, it's reusing packaging that I'm seeing throwing it out because I don't think polystyrene really recycles. And here are my little canal side drawings that I think you may have seen before. So these are basically sketches onto eco prints taken from leaves of the I've collected along the canal and I've draw, drawn little canal side scenes onto them. So I've hung them on with magnets onto metal strips. So I think that has worked quite well, that little collection of them here. And then if we just walk quickly down the gallery, moving to two larger pieces, this is, um, I call it Stockingfield Sunrise. So this is the new Stockingfield Bridge, which is uh, an, an immense structure, really, really beautiful, um, very interesting. And then here at the other end of the canal is Hamilton Hill, and this is from earlier in the year when we had some snow and the light coming through that tree was just beautiful. Um, down here I've got a couple of mono prints. Um, these are prints that I have worked into with um, various inks to enhance colour. Um, and again, I've just sat these on some of the black polystyrene, which has worked really well. Another piece that's on the polystyrene, which has worked so well. I'm really, really loving this. I think I'm going to do more of that. And here are some of my little canal vignettes, just little things that I have noticed, little memorials and um, graffiti, just things that I've noticed as I've been out for my walks and I've made these uh, transfer prints of them and I think because they're on this candy paper, which if I zoom in you can see they're again hung up with magnets, um, it's got a really lovely texture so these become almost like little landscapes in themselves. Then moving over here into another landscape, um, and again, the other side of the, the towpath, so some of the detritus that was lying around when the bridge was being built, and um, I find that quite beautiful. I think all the colours in, in our, you know, corrugated iron I'm quite fascinated with. And here's another little bit of Fur Hill Basin. And Rapunzel's Tower, which you might have heard me talk about. Um, I was walking past that and there were a group of little kids and one of them shouted, um, there's Rapunzel's Tower. So they were all shouting, hello Rapunzel. So that's why that's called that. This is quite um, probably the biggest, well, it's not probably, it is the biggest piece in the, the show. And um, this is of Stockingfield Bridge, but this is actually um, oil on sized paper. And I've just used a rag to wipe off some of the, the paint and um, gone in with a palette knife and a pencil. And I think just with that old um, gold frame, it's worked really, really well. And here's kind of more iron, more girders, but this is when actually the scene when the canal was being built. Uh, sorry, not the canal, when the bridge was being built of the piling, the, the girders of the piling. I just was fascinated by all the numbers on the iron work. Um, yeah, and I quite like that kind of canal scene, but um, slightly transformed by the iron work. And again, some two more detailed studies of the girders there. And then ending up over here with two more abstracted um, scenes that I'm calling um, the clay pits because again, experimenting with colour and tones and some of the shapes that I've used before, but um, they've worked quite well and they're both on NDF. And the final thing that I've put here is um, yeah, another view of the, t the toolpath, a more autumnal scene, I think, with those colours. So that's the exhibition contiguous. I um, really enjoyed it, and I hope you've enjoyed that quick tour too.